right now, and you can now go back in time right here in Portland. The amazing discovery of King Tut's tomb is on display at OMSI. Cor Harlan is there this morning with a behind-the-scenes look. Hey, Cor. Boy, this is really neat. It's a little bit of a look back into history in uh, the 1920s when they discovered King Tut's uh, tomb. Uh, they have uh, replicated about a thousand artifacts from the tomb and the surrounding chambers, uh, and it, it's really compelling to look back with all of these things. Jen Powers, of course, is uh, one of the educators here at OMSI. How are you this morning? Um, Up and Adam? I'm great. How are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good here. <laughs> this burial chamber behind us, and I want to kind of just step out of the way and let Adam uh, give us a picture of this. Tell me what we're looking at here. Definitely. So like you said, when you come to OMSI, you're going to see three chambers that were within King Tut's tomb. This one's the burial chamber, which is where they found King Tut. So you're seeing it a little bit broken down than it was. There were a lot of shrines in here, but what you're seeing is the sarcophagus, the third coffin, and the second coffin. So this is like these these Russian uh, these Russian uh, things nesting where you, dolls, nesting kind of. dolls, right? Yeah. So when they opened up the burial chamber, this entire room, which is to scale, was filled with a gigantic shrine, and inside that was a shrine, and then a shrine, and then a shrine, and then a sarcophagus, and then a coffin, and then a coffin, and then a coffin, and then a mummy. So a lot of layers. <laughs> the guy was a, the guy was a king after yes, all, and, and and kings are not just buried uh, alone, but they are buried with a lot of their stuff too. So there are two other chambers that had a lot of king stuff. We saw a, a, a sawed up a chariot back there and a lot of other things too, right? Yeah, so ancient Egyptians believed that you needed a lot in the afterlife and King Tut being a very important pharaoh, he needed a lot. So he was buried with food and thrones and his internal organs and god protectors and all sorts of great things that you get to see here on display here. We should all be so lucky if we're buried like this someday. The King Tut exhibit uh, has been going for just about five days at OMSI and it goes through January? January 27th. January 27th here at OMSI. It's a neat history lesson for kids and adults alike. You get to take a look at uh, everything that the king was uh, buried in with all of his uh, things and the things that he was accompanied with in the afterlife. Uh, we're going to go upstairs, take a little bit more with the King Tut exhibit here at OMSI this morning, Jenny and Ken. Uh, and, and it is, uh, it's, it's something to see, something to look at. Yeah, the old cliche, you can't take it with you, apparently did not apply to the yeah. pharaohs. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. That is totally correct, yes. When you're buried with uh, three chambers full of stuff, you've got a lot of things to take with you. Yeah. 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 I, don't, I don't think that's going to be the case.